One of the most common operations that's performed in the United States is a posterior lumbar fusion, either with a spacer in the disc space or without, uh, and there's several ways that it can be performed. Once a patient fails conservative management, injections, therapy, and it's determined that the patient has either instability or a worn out disc that's, that's causing the pain, the goal is to stabilize that motion segment, which involves the disc, the facet joints, and any motion at the painful segment, and any pressure on the nerve with what's called a fusion. And what a fusion is, it takes that motion segment, holds it still, and the patient will form bone across that segment, and it will no longer move. If the segment does not move, it won't cause any pain. In the United States, fusions are done fairly commonly, but they also have a bad reputation. For years, we've done fusions through big, big, big incisions, long recovery period, six months to a year, and a lot of downtime. That was probably what your grandfather had done years ago, and you've always been told, whatever you do, don't have a fusion. The reality is, if your pain is severe, the fusion can be a lifesaver for you. We commonly perform fusions outpatient on a regular basis, and these patients can return to work rather quickly, depending on what type of job that they have. Our goals are to, to provide the fusion with the least amount of surgery possible, least amount of exposure possible. So I'm going to show you an example of the type of surgery that, that's performed nowadays in comparison with the old surgeries that we did years ago. So here, here's a, a model example of two different screw techniques. One screw technique is more traditional, where the screws are placed more lateral and head more medial. This technique here is the technique that we use here in Melbourne, Florida. It was actually developed in Melbourne, Florida, and now is taking, taking root across the world. This technique involves putting the screw in from an inside-out technique, therefore the amount of muscle dissection needed is very minimal. If you can picture the back muscles coming up and down on either side here, imagine how much dissection it takes to expose in the traditional technique. Hence the reason this recovery time was long, usually a few day hospitalization. Whereas with this technique, it's a very minimal exposure, very little muscle dissection, and the patient can recover quite quick, usually an outpatient surgery or an overnight stay.